This is Dead Man's Alley in Cardiff city centre. It's named that unofficially by the locals because of these numbers that you can see on some of the paving stones. The pathway cuts straight through the graveyard of this church, the St John the Baptist Church, the oldest church in Cardiff. The alleyway was constructed not long after 1891 when Cardiff Market opened. Before the alleyway, in order to access the market, people who were on Working Street were forced to walk around the graveyard and what is now the Museum of Cardiff. So, the council struck a deal with the church to create a path that would act as a shortcut which now runs from the shopping centre to the entrance of Cardiff Market. As a result of this, the graveyard is now split into St John's Graveyard and St John's Gardens. The pathway and gardens remain a part of the church's land, but are open to the public all year round, except on Good Friday, when the church closes it, as was part of the initial deal, as well as the council agreeing to maintain the gardens part of the land. You can actually see on these maps from the late 19th century and now where Dead Man's Alley was added in. But back to these numbers, and apologies for some of the poor imagery here. I wanted to film this video on the streets but it was extremely busy and I had trouble even managing to get these shots you're seeing now. These numbers correspond to the burials that the path was laid over when it was first constructed. While initially inlaid with brass, when the path was renewed, these were replaced with a much more durable stainless steel. People struggle to say for sure whether or not all of the bodies remain under the path, but it is expected that they may have been large family burials. Given that such trouble was gone to in order to put these numbers in place, there's a good chance that the bodies were kept in place when the path was laid. St John's remains open to the public and the church encourages you to visit the alley, the gardens and the church, except on Good Friday. So if you find yourself passing through to Cardiff Market, remember to look down to see this fascinating piece of history.